Hello, this is Andrew WK with the world's longest microphone, partying hard and reminding you that this is Hit the Floor. It's time to party, let's party. Are you with yourself and have a crazy party? Hey, you, let's party. Have a kill of party and party. Don't so, hey, it's Chris Hit the Floor magazine, and I'm here with. Basically, the the best person I know, Mr. Andrew wow. WK. No, your mom was here earlier. I'm not her. That's the best person you know. I am second best. Your dad's third best. Don't ask me how it worked out that way. That's fair enough. I wasn't I wasn't including family. Like, oh. Family kind of you know goes okay. without saying. Well, I, I consider you family. All right. Well, no, thank you. It's great to be with you again. You're very kind, and uh, it's nice to sit in this warm chair and talk about partying. It's very very warm. I I did actually send you a uh, a brother request on Facebook once. Brother, but yeah, you, you've yet to accept. Oh, so wait, for a family. A oh, family. right, 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 right. Well, uh, yeah, for for some reason, actually, uh, for many years, Facebook did not work on any of my computers. Um, it just got bogged down, and then something they did, probably on their end, to change how it loaded on the page. Uh, now it's working like a charm. So finally, I've been able to really uh, enjoy using it and. Uh, I will look for your brother request. So we're on the I Get Wet tour, yes. which is clearly going to be probably the most epic tour ever in creation. You are, very, you know, I, some would say that's an exaggeration, but when you're talking about me, then the more the merrier. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that. It, I, I can tell you from, from, from me and for the band, and everyone agrees, including the guys that I've been with since the very first day, this is the best we've ever been. It's the best tours, the best shows, the best uh, feeling on stage, the best crowds, the best reactions, to the point where we're basically in a daze. We, 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 we keep feeling like we're going to wake up from the dream, like all those classic cliches are really applying here. The feeling is that we're moving into some new realm uh, and that life will never be the same after this. And it's intense. Uh, at times it's been so intense, it's been truly overwhelming. But um, just like when you... Uh, First, grow your own mustache. That's like you realize life will never be the same, but for the better, obviously. Or like when you first ejaculate uh, semen instead of blood, you realize like life is going to be better than it ever was before. So there's no turning back, but it's for the best. It's good. One thing I was hoping, okay, obviously you didn't really get a wet tour. Are we going to get the wolf tour? Oh, wow. Hey, now, that's... uh, (laughs) That's quite a good idea. Uh, we're certainly going to play songs tonight from The Wolf. Uh, in fact, we are playing m- some songs that we almost never played uh, from The Wolf. Can, can you please tell me that I Love Music no, will be on that one? No, no, sorry. We've been, we've been waiting for many, many years for I Love Music Live. I know, I know, I know. I know. And, and now is the time when actually I feel like we really could pull that song off. So it is motivating. It is, of course, very encouraging. And, and, and I really do appreciate you wanting us to play that. I would too. We do have a version of it. We were working on that uh, that song, and, and it is probably one of the more requested songs. So there's plenty of songs that we still have uh, time to play, and there's going to be plenty of time to play the songs. Okay. We're in a land of plenty. It's going to be special. That's what we need to know. Horn of plenty. <laughs> With the fruit spilling out and all the bananas and the summer squash and all that stuff. Obviously, you know, you've basically become the, the god of party. Have you ever thought of just doing a tour purely with songs with the word party? So you've got Fight to Your Puke, you've got Party, 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 Dance Party, Big Party, uh, We Party, You Shout, yes. Long Live the Party. Wow. Uh, party Hard, obviously yes. you haven't got that one in there. It's time to party. Uh, party God. Is that the, the Party God, party yeah. God. Um, I don't think we're missing here. We've, we've listed quite a lot of party songs. Long Live the Party, it's, it's Time to Party, it's party, 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 um, party Hard, Dance Party, Dance Party, yeah, Big, big party. party, Party. Um, there's a lot of party until you puke but also there's different versions of some of these songs so maybe we just have to play like the slightly different version like uh, party until you puke there's those breakdown uh, remix kind of versions we could do those too that's a fantastic idea right there Um, I gotta I think maybe make a few more songs uh, with the word party so I can help flesh it out oh party all goddamn night there we go that's the newest one of all Uh, we're also gonna be playing a a brand new song uh, tonight from that very special, very obscure uh, Japanese EP. But some of those songs are in the works for the new album okay. uh, as I'm pushing them further and polishing them, them uh, making them better. Uh, but that's going to be fun tonight to play a, a totally new song that no one's really heard. Okay, what angle are we going for now? Obviously, you, you've gone from non-stop party action to epicness of the wolf. Then you went a bit more experimental with things like Close Calls and Brick Walls, bringing in a bit kind of, I guess, of your very older influences before I Get Wet when you kind of just yourself with your keyboard. 
Hey, what, 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 are you, what are you kind of going for? Have you got an angle? You're just going to go with it and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I'm trying to make the most exciting song I can. Uh, and obviously, you know, you're always changing, and your way to get to that place, you hopefully get better at it. Um, I think this will be the best album yet. Uh, I mean, that's certainly the goal. Um, but you're never trying to outdo. I'm just trying to add. It's like a tree that's growing and growing. And the trunk, you know, it's got to stay for the rest of the tree to flourish. Uh, if you cut away the trunk, most of the rest of the tree is, it wouldn't stay there at all. It's not going to hover in the air. Unless you could string it up to a bunch of birds um, or string it to another tree, which sometimes people do when a tree is getting sick and dying. But it's always best to let it grow and build on its own. And that's that's all we're doing here. We're, we're, we're adding in more more uh, flora and fauna and twigs, branches, leaves, and cascading flowers, little baby fruits, and uh, hopefully some birds' nests uh, in, in there from their own joy. Bees' nests. So you're building the ultimate tree. Yeah, a tr- party tree. <laughs> That's good. I like the idea of a party tree. It's cool. Yeah, you just hang out underneath it, have some beers. I don't want to plant another tree. Just keep this one growing. This one growing. I mean, obviously you've you've done a lot of stuff. You've been obviously you're, you're the rock star. You've done your motivational speaking. You've done destroy, build, destroy. Um, you've gone pretty much everywhere. Have you ever thought of releasing a motivational book or books on tape? Because I think this could be a very again encouraging. I really appreciate uh, the suggestion, and and certainly uh, there's there's so much that you can do in this realm, uh, this entertainment industry, and uh, I intend to to do it all, uh, one step at a time. Uh, but the the first priority in June, after I get back from this tour, back to New York City, is to to finish this new album, and then there's time to do everything else. Okay, is there anything you can tell us about this album that you've not told anybody else in any other interviews? Uh, completely exclusive. Uh, yeah. Um, well, considering it doesn't exist, uh, it's hard to say. I guess. Uh, no working titles? Any uh, working no. song titles? No, I have album cover ideas. Uh, I have. I'm very excited. That's actually been the most exciting stuff is so far right now. Thinking about the photos and uh, the layout and the the artwork and stuff like that. Um, but the songs will be. You know, the, the you've gotten a taste of it with some of the. The, the things over the years leading up and it will just be the culmination of everything I've ever been able to, to try to do and all the powers that I have at my uh, at my fingertips and we'll just see what happens. I'm as curious as you are in a way, uh, but I, 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 now I have a big open chunk of time to, uh, to bang it out and finish it once and for all. We're also uh, re-releasing I Get Wet um, and that will be uh, in this summer, the July 17, I believe. Uh, where you'll have some uh, additional artwork and special new photos and then uh, a bunch of bonus tracks, including uh, early versions of some of the songs on I Get Wet and live versions. And it's very chaotic and strange the way we recorded a lot of these live tracks is pretty... It's, 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 it's like sounds like uh, a thundercloud with uh, a band playing somewhere in the cloud and the thunder is clapping, cascading rains, uh, spinning, spinning balls, ball lightning. You ever seen, heard of ball lightning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's ball lightning flying around and uh, somewhere there was a microphone to capture it. So get ready for that. It's going to be a pretty special experience. Then, ball so. lightning. Make sure you go out and pick up the new I Get Wet re-release. Yes, and I, uh, there's a limited number of uh, special, special deluxe editions that will come with uh, a special uh, memento or item. Now, it could be a, a ticket stub from one of our shows or a backstage pass, but some of them are also going to have some of my hair. Um, and some used Kleenex and things like that, a piece of my sock, a piece of underwear. Um, I was trying to figure out ways to put like hangnails and, you know, blisters and, and, and dead skin and things like that. So it, it's going to be a very intimate, special bonus uh, for whoever gets those. And they'll all be organized and you can see uh, which thing you got because it might not be clear. Um, it, there'll be a, it might be hard to tell. It probably will be clear. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you can't pull the Kleenex apart, it's probably just best to uh, yeah, to leave it there. Leave it as it is. Yes. Yeah. Just frame it or something. Yeah, or keep it. I'm gonna try to put it in a baggie so it's, it's so it stays safe. Some kind of archival type stuff. But uh, it's a great tradition of of offering yourself to to the folks that uh, want a piece of you. And this is I'm really gonna try to do that as best I can. Yeah, you get any more personal than giving a a hangnail. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. It's brilliant. Well, so you, you, you've done loads and loads of collaborations over the year. You've done things with, um, was it Matt Kim, Soldier Boy, recently. Uh, obviously, you did things with uh, the Evaporators and the, the legend that is Nardwa, interview oh, legend. Got to give him amazing. some props. Gee, Nobody does research like Nardwa. He's the best. He's, I mean, I think he was like Barbara Walters, 
uh, Mike Douglas, who just or Mike Mike Wallace, who just passed away. Uh, Michael Douglas too, though I'm sure he would be a good interviewer. Mm. Uh, but as far as a music interviewer, his enthusiasm and his brilliance as a performer himself, uh, he brings out the true colors in the people he interviews, for better or worse. And I've I've lost so much respect for some people where it hurt because I was such a fan of them. And then to see how they behave in these interviews, it's just it's fascinating. But ultimately, that's his gift: is that he exposes people, even when they think they're like the least thing they think is happening. They think they're all covered up and no one can tell anything, but all you see is true colors with Nardwar. And the good thing is he's a, a, a beautiful person whose true colors shine every day. Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for him. Especially, um, Blur, sort yourself out. Blur's well, you know, he apologized. Do you know that? He wrote a public apology. Uh, yeah, because I, I was really disappointed in Blur. Of course. On the, on the, in, in, I think in the newspaper, actually, that he writes for occasionally. Um, okay. And he, he, it goes so far, uh, he felt so ashamed once he saw that interview. And he went as far as to uh, carry the video on his phone with him at all times so that whenever he feels tempted, I guess, for him to do drugs or to drink, I guess that was his problem, mm -hmm. uh, he watches that interview. Okay. It was, he, that was his rock bottom. How amazing is that? That Nardware brought him to rock bottom. <laughs> Um, but it's it's still an amazing interviewer in, 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 to watch, and any of his interviews, no matter how great someone is behaving or how you know maybe shameful they're behaving, they're incredibly captivating, and you can't stop watching. They're just amazing, amazing entertainment. He is amazing. Uh, what I was going to ask about the collaborations is um, obviously I think someone you could probably collaborate quite well with would be um, LMFAO, as they are now party. I would rock. love to. I would love to. I've been trying to get in touch with them. Um, so if you have a a way to give him a shout out. I, I would love, we can try. love uh, yeah, to make a song. We, this needs to happen. Or, or I, if I could do remix one of their songs or, or, or something. I, I just, uh, I, I really want to be part of the, the, what they're doing because I think it's fantastic. Um, I remember seeing their, you know, their posters in New York when they were first coming out, and then I heard the music, and you know, I love dance music very, very, very much. Always have, and I've considered that a big part of. Uh, what I'm trying to get across, that four on the floor, the, the syncopated drums, and uh, the driving, driving, joyful spirit. Uh, so I have nothing but top, top, top respect for them. Yeah, they're awesome guys. And they've got good dance moves as well. Yeah, absolutely. Your dance moves combined could be incredible. And they definitely are in, into having fun. Shuffling. Yeah, yeah, shuffling about and marching and warm cheer. Do well up for this. Um, we've noticed you... Uh, Actually, I actually have a bit of a role in um, a new indie horror film called I Spill Your Guts. Yes. The funny thing is that I don't remember doing this. So I'm very <laughs> curious as to what... Uh, I have a vague vague memory of uh, very quickly one night in an alleyway, I think before or after a show, possibly in Staten Island um, or maybe Long Island uh, or some kind of island around the New York area where some folks uh, had me like walk down a corridor and look freaked out for a brief time. Um, and I think it might be this movie because they said Lloyd Kaufman yeah, Lloyd was King. was going to be... Okay, so, I mean, I, I'm beyond honored and privileged to have a part in it. I just wish I knew more about what was going on in the scene. <laughs> but it's, it's obviously the spirit of just being uh, involved in any way. And I'm, 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 you know, this is a great cast they got. I'm just very curious as to what the movie's about. <laughs> Have you ever thought about getting more into acting? Or is that anything you've ever could have thought about? I've got to keep working on acting like myself first, and then uh, then maybe I can act like someone else. Yeah, fair enough. Obviously, um, Sonosphere is sadly cancelled. Yeah, is that is just a bummer. I was reading the article. There was an article in the newspaper the other day about it, and they were trying to figure out what caused it. And some people were saying it's the Olympics and that people are saving up all their money for the Olympics or that there was just starting to be too many festivals and people were getting literally burned out or that it was the wrong the wrong lineup. Um, it's 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 very sad. I was extremely excited to finally play another festival. We hadn't played uh, you know a proper UK festival since Reading and Leeds back in two thousand two. Two thousand two. <laughs> but uh, you know, so hopefully someone else will invite us and we'll have another chance. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry for all the all the great acts that they had lined up there. Uh, you know, to play a show with Kiss that was just going to be completely through the roof. Mm -hmm. So you, you haven't been offered anything with like download or anything yet? Or no, 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 no. But I, I heard rumors that they're trying to salvage these acts and this date. Um, and hopefully someone else will put something together. But obviously, I'm ready. We want to play any fat. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
Pardon me. We want to play any festival we can. We just have to be invited. We can't really invite ourselves to it. I've tried. It didn't go too well. You never thought of just rocking up at, at download and just playing in the campsite? It, well, it, we actually, there was a festival we were supposed to play in Portugal. Um, and the flights uh, got all screwed up. And we actually ended up missing it. But we could have made it in time to at least like play as people were leaving in the parking lot. And we really did think about doing that. Uh, the only problem was that it was raining, and so we uh, were advised by the promoter to to not bother. That was the only show we've ever missed. Okay, I think um, maybe doing like a, a party. Did you do something kind of like party parking lot tour, or was that that it was something like that? Or no, that was the uh, Highway Party Cruiser Tour. That's the one. Yeah. Oh yes, the Highway the Party Cruiser Tour. Uh, that was the first solo tour, really, that I that I went on. Um, more recently, uh, there were times when. Either it didn't make sense for the whole band to go, or I, due to poor decision making and contracts and things, I didn't read the fine print. Especially in the early days, there was just things got very messy uh, during certain periods of the last, I don't know, seven years. Like 2005 is when things started to get a bit wiggy and uh, jiggy and strange and. Uh, the good thing is it's all resolved now. Um, but that Highway Party Cruiser Tour, that was another way of trying to find some way to keep going, to yeah. keep keep the party going. I was re never, never, never would stop it and refused to give in to the, these restrictions. Always found loopholes, always found a way around or, uh, uh, you know. But again, I take responsibility for it because all the handlers I've worked with and all the, the managers and people I've signed up with, they've made my dreams come true at the same time. So. Yeah. It's really, I can't say a bad word about any of it. And, and now, here we are doing better than ever. So maybe it was all meant to be, you know. Yeah, it's all ended up. And all I have to say on camera, we said it on thing, but same person as the fourth time I've interviewed. See, there you go. Yeah, that's true. Four can't interviews get any more now. evidence than this. There you go. Yeah, thank you for vouching for me. We will always vouch for you. It's fun. Well, it's, 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 it's nice because uh, to have you stick with me and stick with this and to see you, uh, you know, move forward in, in, in life and, and to, to have these times to come together again is, is very meaningful as well. As much as it's exciting that so many new people are coming to the party, it's really great that you are still uh, at the party. We're still there. We haven't left. And thriving. We've been there. Throwing up in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you. I, was yeah. you. I didn't want to wake you because you looked a bit uh, like you needed some rest and a warm chair. Yeah, but it's fine. I've had, I've had some energy drink, uh, so I'll be okay until later. I'm Dude like... need rest. Dude need rest. That's always important to remember. Yeah. Okay. What's well, a rest and then get back on the party? You know? Well, that's how you can party. Yeah. It's a combination. You can't party with no energy. The goal is to not die, basically, <laughs> um, and to party as hard as you possibly can without dying. That should be a new song, Party Don't Die. Well, party t until you die. <laughs> eventually of natural causes or whatever um don't party in order to die i guess this is not a suicide mission this is a, an embracing of life and uh you know a, a celebration of our, our life definitely something i've always wanted to, to get you to do i've always loved your on-stage moves oh i would love you to teach me some oh well sure could uh, we do this yeah yeah let's see um I should stand up, right? uh, oh, if you want to, yeah. Well, pretend point, point the mic the towards us. Point, point the mic towards us and uh, pretend okay. you're holding. Uh, you can. What, are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so you probably hold the mic in your right hand. Okay. But you hold the cord probably in your other okay, hand. So like this. Um, so this is a. This is probably the most basic stance. Okay. Now you feel sturdy, right? Yeah. Um, that's that's sort of the goal there. Now you, the, one of the most fun things that I like to do is I like to pop the elbow. Okay, not yet. Yeah, just pop it up. You can, you know, as far as you can get it, uh, as long as you can still sing. And then you can bring it down. You can spring load it. Okay. So that uh, it's hard it's like, to pull. It snaps back up. So that's a lot of fun, you know. And then you can do uh, similar with the elbows, a side side shuffle. Okay. Like, like so. Be kind of hoe down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's uh, like a, a a jig with your arms. Uh, and then there's also just a lot of this. There's a lot of uh, of, of of well. Like, you have limited space here, but you know, hands over the head. Uh, of course, you can't sing at the same time, so you got to pick your moments, and that's why, like you know, we dance, we know, we, we we jump, we go. You can switch off to hands, but you got to keep them going. It's almost like shadow boxing. Okay. Um, I guess like you're shadow boxing against uh, all the evil anti-partying spirits out there. Uh, and then the funniest part is that most of these moves, when people have asked me to try to do them. I cannot do them when I when I'm not doing them 
with the song. It's very strange. Like the classic headbang, which I almost always do, it's something like there's this arm and it's like that, but when I stand up it's very hard for me to do it without uh, doing it. Um, you know, party hard. Oh yeah, I get it. Well, that doesn't feel right either. I think that, that to me always feels like the classic Andrew WK move. <laughs> if we ever dance to Party Hard, it's... Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it's this. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> See, it took you telling me how to do it to remember how to do it. <laughs> this is actually my most restful move. When we're playing on stage, the time when I actually am able to sort of catch my breath is the head banging. So I, I, I enjoy that almost the most in terms of... That gives me the endurance and stamina to keep going. If I didn't have a chance to headbang, I might get, you know, I might pass out completely. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't need to pass out. And of course you can do, you know, there's the high kick. The goal, of course, is to get the, you know, your foot as high as your head. And, and the classic jump, which I don't know well, if yeah, that's, that's, we can do in here. Yeah, no, no, I think that we would kick each other <laughs> in the face probably, and then we have a bloody nose. Okay. You, you thought about starting your own kind of school of dance party? I think. I mean, I love it. I really love it, and I've, I, I, it really is. Uh, it takes every bit of energy, but you know that it's like that runner's high, the 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 endorphin rush, and to to go out on a stage uh, completely dry at the beginning of the show, and then to be completely soaking wet, like you were under a shower uh, after the show. That that's how you know you gave uh, everything you had, and that's just the nature of this music. I also have so much respect uh, and admiration for musicians who don't channel their physical energy into that kind of show. I mean, for starters, they probably are able to sing much better and, and play their instruments better. Uh, but this is just the nature of, uh, of this, this adventure. Um, and there's no, there's no other way that it would ever be done. I can't not, I can't not do it at this point. When that music comes on, I could have a, hundred degree fever or, or, you know, hadn't slept for three days. And it just, it just, that's just what happens when that music ha plays. Amazing. Well, we're really looking forward to tonight. Thank you. It's been way too long. Yes. I promise it won't be this long ever again. Amazing. And just thanks for everything. Thank it's you. It's been very appreciative. Thank you. It's Andrew WK, everyone. <laughs> I feel like shaky hand man off of that. Ow. Gosh. Oh. Sorry. My little wrist. My sweet little wrist. <laughs> you, can't, you can't play piano anymore. I'm sorry. No, no, I don't play my piano on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs>